hello a very good afternoon to all of you so in this welcome to my channel inspire farmer so today we are going to talk about the new topic that is neurotransmitters as the name suggests they are there for transmitting the certain informations from the brain to the various parts of the body so neurotransmitters kya hote hain they are endogenous chemical messengers they which are produced from the body endo matlab they are produced from the body so they are endogenous chemical messengers that transmit the signals from a neuron to the target cell across the synapse that enable the neurotransmission so basically what actually their role is their role is to transmitting the signal their role is to transmitting the information from a particular neuron to a target cell where they have to transmit the signal so by transmitting the signal they enables the neurotransmissions so they are also known as a chemical messengers which pass the important chemical message ओके, दे आर अन इवनली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन द नर्वस सिस्टम उनका डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन काफी ज्यादा रहता है इन द नर्वस सिस्टम एंड इट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन पैलर दैट ऑफ इट्स रिसेप्टर सिंथेटाइजिंग एंड कैटाबोलाइजिंग इंजाइन okay after the release from the nervous system after the release from the number of the glands they bind with the receptors and there are the number of enzymes which are responsible for their synthesis and which are responsible for their catabolism catabolism okay so coming to the next point coming to the next point neuromodulators so one term is neurotransmitters and one is neuromodulator some chemicals released by the neurons have little or no direct effect on their own but can modify the effect of neurotransmitters so these chemicals are called the neuro मॉड्यूलेटर्स तो न्यूरो मॉड्यूलेटर मॉड्यूलेट मॉड्यूलेशन का मतलब क्या होता है किसी चीज के इफेक्ट को फास्ट करना किसी चीज के इफेक्ट को मॉडिफाई करना सो सेम दैट रोल इज प्लेड बाय द न्यूरो मॉड्यूलेटर्स दे आर दिस आर द केमिकल्स व्हिच डज नॉट हैव देयर any kind of a direct effect but their role is to modify the activity of number of neurotransmitters so these chemicals are known as a neuro modulators neurotransmitters and the neuro modulators can be divided into the two major categories so neurotransmitters rehte hain aur neuro modulator rehte hain unko hum do categories mein divide kar sakte hain one is small molecular neurotransmitter and one is large molecular neurotransmitters so neuro modulator is what to modulating or to modifying the activity of a neurotransmitters okay so in the last slide we have discussed that there are the two type of neurotransmitters or the neuro modulator the one is small molecular neurotransmitter and one is large molecular neurotransmitters the examples of small molecular neurotransmitters include monoamines which include acetylcholine serotonin histamine catecholamines and amino acids so they are the small molecular neurotransmitter okay coming to the large molecular neurotransmitter why they are known as a large neurotransmitter because they are consist of larger chain of peptides that's why they are known as a large molecular neurotransmitter the examples include enkephalin vasopressin substance p and the host of others so these are the small molecular neurotransmitter and the larger molecular neurotransmitter okay coming to the one of the another word that is receptors so after the release of the neurotransmitters from the brain they bind with the number of a receptors which are present on the target cell so receptors are actually the protein in the nature they are usually present on the surface of the cell okay so basically they are the macromolecule and they are the binding site which is located on the surface or which is located on the target cell okay wo kya karta hai that serves to recognize the signal molecule and the drug initiate the response to it and but itself has no other function so receptor ka kaam kya karta hai sirf signal ko receive karna usko jo signal neurotransmitter leke aaya hai us signal ko usse recognize karna hai aur us signal jo signal information leke aaya hai us information ko initiate karna hai so basically the receptors are the protein molecules okay they are the macromolecules which are present on the target cells so basically when the neurotransmitter is released they bind with the receptors after binding with the receptor they pass the signal which they are having to the receptors and the receptors after getting that signal initiating the response to that particular signals 
so here here they have given the number of information about the receptor one is gpcr ion channels transmembrane enzyme transmembrane non enzymes and the nuclear receptors and on the side they have also given the examples okay okay criteria for the neurotransmitter what can, what information must be there for the neurotransmitter the transmitter must be present in the presynaptic terminals of the synapse there is a two neurotransmitters rehte hain so unke beech mein gap rehta hai so us gap ke beech mein neurotransmitter ko rehna chahiye enough quantity neurotransmitter must be released from the presynaptic nerve continually with the nerve activity to have an effect concentration of neurotransmitter which is released from the presynaptic nerve two nerves rehti hain one is presynaptic nerve one is post synaptic nerve terminals so when it is released from the presynaptic nerve terminals it into the synaptic terminals between the two two neurotransmitter concentration uski enough honi chahiye agar concentration kam hogi to wo apna response produce nahi kar payega effect of experimental application of the putative transmitter should mimic the effect of stimulating the presynaptic pathway if available kuch aise drugs hone chahiye jo us neurotransmitter ki activity ko ya to block kar sake ya potentiate kar sake so this all criteria must be fulfilled by a particular molecule to say it to the neurotransmitter okay so rest rest we will discuss in the next video so in this video we have discussed about what actually the neurotransmitter what actually is the neuromodulator what is actually the difference between those we have also discussed about the receptors